the shuttle launch. Looks like it's going. All systems are go. About 90 seconds from the launch of Shuttle Endeavour. I mean, she's got to go this time, right? Weather's good. All indicators are good. She's going to go. Minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbital internal power. I'm watching the launch Endeavor with Moonlit Knight. <laughs> Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. We are left to go for auto sequence start. T minus 27 seconds and coming. I love space stuff. I've always loved space stuff. First thing I remember watching on TV might have been Star Trek, but second thing, the man moon landing. Hmm. Sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavor. Here we go. From acoustical energy. We're going for main engine start. We have main engine start. Yeah, baby. One, three, two, one. Woo -hoo. and liftoff of Endeavor, ah. completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out of this world space laboratory. Go, baby, go. Safe journey, people. Go, Julie Pierre! Ah, two Canadians in space at the same time! Man, it's just amazing what coverage they can have of a flight now. You can follow it on NASA TV Live, on the internet. Amazing. And the camera views. Wow. Look at that. Oh. I left off the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. One minute thirty-three seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at nineteen hundred miles per hour, seventeen miles in altitude, and sixteen miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. Go, baby, go. Five for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. SRB SAP coming up. Boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. There they go. Now, the last launch, they showed some very cool footage, ah, like that. And later on, you got to see the footage from cameras on the boosters as they fell away. It was amazing. Boost officer confirms the SRBs or solid rocket boosters have separated. Two minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. Then we're flying at oh, I'm going to night. you're so lucky. It would be so cool to be there and see it live. Miles down range. Endeavor, two engine maroon. Two engine maroon. Roman on L1, we like high load duct heater to You can see the curve of the earth already. Oh, wow. You know, I don't care what anybody says about the danger of something like this. Strap me in, I'd go in a heartbeat. Environmental control hmm. life support system. Endeavor can reach from a road in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines are still operating well. Endeavor at an altitude of 56 statute miles and 120 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Oh, look at that. They're high and fast enough. Now you can e see the earth turning. Negative return. Roman, the extra duct heaters were because we saw a little cooling in the ducts. Copy. Now 
now 4 minutes and 18 seconds into the flight. Endeavour is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center and the Space Shuttle Landing Facility in the event of an engine failure. All three Space Shuttle main engines continue to function well. The Environmental Systems Officer also confirmed that the flash evaporator system has been activated to provide cooling before the payload bay doors are open in orbit. Well, it looks like launch attempt number six was successful. Well, it's got to be getting pretty close to the tank separation. Endeavour, single engine, hop three. Single engine, hop three. Single engine operation door. Endeavour could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on ah. the engine should two fell at this point, all three continuing to perform well. Well, here we go. Endeavour is flying at 8,300 miles per hour, 57 miles in altitude. It's rolling over. Miles down range. Earth. On this side, it's rolling up. The swivel to put the orbiter in the proper heads-up position. That for communications with the tracking and data relay satellites. Endeavor, press Tamiko. Oh, did you see that? A little bit of debris there. Ice, I suppose. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. And now she's heads up above the Earth tank, down towards the Earth. So, pretty soon. Now they're getting close to tank set. Nominal shutdown plan. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Copy, nominal shutdown, go plus X, go pitch. Never can reach the planned orbit on two engines, although all three continuing to perform well. And the shutdown plan of those engines is nominal, as Capcom Allen Poindexter indicated to Commander Mark Polanski. Endeavour, single engine press 104. Single engine press 104. Seven minutes and 12 seconds into the flight, Endeavour can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail, and all three are continuing to perform well. That's got to be the point at which you pretty much consider they're safe to orbit. 65 miles in altitude and 613 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. minutes 35 seconds into the flight and the engines are throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Oh look at that you can see a little bit of a thrust effect, plasma effect I guess. Wow. It's so cool how you can follow these things. Couldn't do any of this when I was a kid. Follow it on the radio, see the grainy pictures on TV, if you could get TV where you lived in the country. Wait for days, you know, or a day or two to show up, see photographs in the, in the newspaper. This is amazing. Time now, tank separation. Gotta be. There it goes. Oh, the views on the takeoff. Oh, look at the shot. Oh, wow. The external tank separation is confirmed. Look at that. Go, baby, go. Endeavor is now at 127 crew in orbit. Continuing on the mission to the International Space Station. Nominal Miko, always one, not required. Best of luck to all of you. Hey, 